Howdy folks, welcome to episode 16. Today we've got a new build up here, 1294, which is, <laughs> and I can't show you when I hit escape, but yeah, 1294, it's in the upper left, and this is release candidate one for, so they're basically working on getting it going for the stable branch, and so I did a, a 15 and a half, and in that, what we did was I cleaned up and figured out what was wrong with the CV, and I also crafted this stuff, and I need to craft some more a couple more things so for the the capital vessel i want to do a drill turret there we go we're going to do a drill turret and the other thing i wanted to show you guys in here was if we go into our tech tree they have now added a couple things one of them is that as you see here it shows you which constructors can build so these are the different constructor key codes and so this is which constructors can build any particular item which is pretty cool and also they added the epic weapons or enhanced they're calling them now to the tech tree and so what you do is you can now build the tier twos by themselves you don't need a weapons kit to do that and so what you use is the weapons kit in order to um, build the epic version and as you see here there is a durability and then there's no repairs so you can not repair let me see let's get the rest of these you cannot repair the epic weapons basically think of them like you know an overclocked CPU where it's you're getting more out of it but basically at the cost of, of you know tearing it up in in the process of using it so anyway that is those and so we'll show you here in the constructor let's see what we have we should have some weapons kit so we have shotgun upgrade let's see we have the pistol upgrade and the laser upgrade so we could take our laser I don't think the laser pistol has uh, an upgrade to it but if you see here if you watch the huh interesting it already shows so yeah okay I guess yeah yeah I don't need to put this one into there in order to build it because I mean obviously I can build a tier 2 pistol with what I've got in the thing but you can take let me see I assume this already has yeah this has bullets in it and that's you know what I don't care I'll sacrifice eight bullets to do that so let's put this in here and let's build a an enhanced an epic thingy and so you can do the same thing with the heavy weapon upgrade kit and so you can build a plasma cannon and the enhanced plasma cannon what do I need to do that oh the zeskosium alley which I used on the drill turret apparently so I do need to go get zeskosium but as you see we now have an epic or as they call it enhanced uh, <laughs> projectile pistol and I'm really liking this laser pistol I've been looking at the numbers on this and it's pretty much it's very similar to the the tier 2 pistol it's a slightly slower uh, firing rate but look at the damage amount I mean it does three halves the damage so I think I'm gonna keep that on me and I'm gonna try to remember to use that and so the other thing I wanted to do oh and before I forget is we have this pure epicness so this mission basically all you have to do is equip so we're gonna activate this and there we go and so it just gave us some more gold coins and two explosive devices which is cool or two ten explosive devices which is cool and so we're gonna go in here and also I'm going to do this we're gonna make our first canned meat and I think we can just make two of them and that's it but uh, yeah we can make our first ones and so there we go wanted to make those on camera for you guys and we can put that away too and I think we're gonna need that in the in the advanced constructor because now they've changed it again you used to make the growth plots in here and now you make them in the other thing but that's cool and so we've got all that we've got oxygen and a bunch of bullets for our ship and next time we go past a trading station um, I will use the ATM I could have just put one up that I had here and put it on my base and used it and I totally forgot when I was doing that <laughs> because derp and um, yeah it's not like I ever derp and so let me make sure I've got everything on my list here CV drill can meet yep epic weapons 
Okay, and so there, the other thing they did was they added a new scenario called Battle Royale, or Battle Royal, which <laughs> I assume they mean Royale, as in Royale cheese, right? And um, so yeah, they added that, and I'm thinking about doing another, like a mini-series to, to try that out. And you know what I think I'm going to do here is, while we're at this... Um, I wanted to show you guys for one that um, yeah let's just do, let's just pick a green and we're gonna do large and apply the whole block I'm just gonna paint this whole thing a green right for right now but yeah what I did was I went in and looked at the symmetry axis and there is that's what this red and green stuff is is there was a bug there was a bug with the symmetry axis where you turn it off and then you turn it back on and it does a um, Wow, this is really awesome being able to paint like this, I gotta say. Um, but yeah, there was a bug where you turn it off and turn it back on and it moved the position of it. And so that's what happened with the, that's what happened with the um, the ship. And so I went in, in in 15 and a half and fixed that. And so yeah, those of you who are patrons can watch that if you want to or when you want to. And uh, those of you who aren't, it'll, probably be available in a month or so if you want to watch it then but um let's see can we reach yeah we can reach all that stuff all right and the other thing i might want to put in here is before i forget is a fridge and the other thing i wanted to show you guys quickly while we still have daylight is the fiber that i was looking for there's a bunch of it right out here so as you see there's one there there's one there there's one that might be yellow, but yeah, there's fiber all over the place. There's one right next to my base even. I think that's fiber right there. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just grass. But yeah, there is a ton of fiber all over the place. And so I shouldn't have a problem finding any. And and so that should be that should be well, it's it's still eight per thing, so it is going to take a bit, but yeah. And I think you get four for collecting them. And so the other thing I wanted to do before I forget is I wanted to craft a fridge. We're going to throw a fridge on this. Okay. We're going to throw a fridge on the thing and watch. I have one in here, right? Do I have one in here? Of course I do. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm still going to need another fridge later, so that's fine. Uh, that's not a big deal. <laughs> Apparently that's fine is my new catchphrase, right? Um, and we are going to paint this like better <laughs> I am gonna do a better paint job later but I just wanted to get it colored for now for our first mission just so that we can actually so we can actually just go out and not be in a plain gray ship so we're gonna put a fridge and actually I can do this I think it's the top cargo box that I've been putting stuff into so here is my supplies and I've got some emergency supplies here. Let's see, I can put this in here too, because I'm not gonna need it for right now. But yeah, here's some stuff. All right, we've got emergency supplies. We've got some repair equipment. We've got some um, a constructor in case we need it, and a fridge if we pick up some food and we want it to not spoil, then we can do that too. And let me put this stuff down here. And Let's see, we have an epic minigun in case we need it too. And I think we are ready to go. And so I did load up the pentaxid tank. I'll show you guys here in a second. And so yeah, everything is loaded up here. We can fill up our fuel. Nice, is that 41 hours? Cool. <laughs> but yeah, there's our fuel. I can turn on the thrusters and turn on the turrets. And you know what? Before I do that, I need to let's go do this and let's take off predators and other factions. And we'll do this and turn all those off so that we can. Yeah, and <laughs> that must have happened when I turned it upside down, when I turned the ship upside down to do the bottom. But yeah, and so let's fill our ammo too. All right. And now we should be good. Whoops. Now we should be good to go. So let's turn on our turrets just so that we have them if we need them. And there we go. We are off and it only took, <laughs> it 
It only took 10 minutes to get into space, and I already am running low on food, too. <laughs> It only took 10 minutes to take off. Okay, so that is our first CV, and another thing you might notice is they really cut back. They did a good job on the optimization, and they've, they've cut back on the um, skippiness. So far, it's it's doing a lot better than it was. There's I'm still getting a little bit here and there of the stutters, but it's not it's not as bad as it was. Okay, do I not? Huh. Okay, so let's stop here for a second. And let's see. Let me see. Needed to fill. Really? Huh. I thought I sealed this thing up. Okay, hold on a second. Let's jump out here, turn on our jetpack, and turn on our lights. Okay, so I do have a ventilator, right? So where is it not sealed? Okay, I'm gonna have to look and see. I might have dropped something on the bottom or, or something. Let's see, this is why I wore an EVA. Did I break something on the bottom and not put it back? Is it maybe these? You know what, I'll bet these are not sealed. Let me see. I'll bet these are, I'll bet those spotlight slopes are not sealed and it looks like I need to repair some of this stuff too. It looks like some of this stuff took damage already. Yeah, I'm betting it's the spotlights. So let me try, let me try this. <laughs> Let's see. And actually, I don't think I need, well, yeah, it's it's gonna be, okay, so I have, I have 22 degrees in here. Why is it not sealed? Let's do this and Let's see. Okay, so it's sealed as far as the 22 degrees is concerned, but it's not sealed as far as oxygen is concerned. Okay, so let's do this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we're back and that was ridiculous all I did was remove the ventilator and replace it so I don't know if maybe the device here was powered off I don't know if that's what happened is if this happened to have been powered off because you know we get that bug where see like the lights I never turned some of the lights on or off and some of them are turned off I have no idea why it chooses to do that but yeah and that's really really bright why is it so bright let me see huh okay I think it's just the color in here actually I don't think it's the light is too bright okay so anyway we did get that fixed and let's see I do have yep I do have okay so we've got everything back and, and we can actually and you know what my RCS is turned off now too why is my RCS turned off I do not understand why it does this stuff, okay, because <laughs> I never actually went through and turned everything off. So let's do this real quick. See, there's stuff that's turned off, and I did not selectively turn things off. So there we go. Okay, and let's see. All right, we have our oxygen back, and yes, we have our oxygen back. Good. Okay. All right, so now we should... <laughs> We should be able to fly, and so we were going to go to Ninguez, I believe, because that's, yep, and then we should be able to, we can go to there, or there, or there, and actually I'm kind of thinking we could go to Iatus, because we're going to do two jumps anyway, so I'm not sure, let's see, why don't we head to, why don't we head to Iatus and see, because then we can try to get our we can try to get our um zascosium that we were trying to get so let's do this and warp and hopefully my uh <laughs> hopefully my uh wow that's right this is not a i was thinking that it was aetis okay those were just promethium asteroids right yeah and that stuff okay that was not um I was thinking Pentaxid. 
Sorry, they're both P words, right? Okay, so lock target. There we go. It is locked, right? It is locked, or is it? Did it unlock it? Let's see, let's go. Iatus, lock target. There we go. Okay, and so what? It doesn't show me what's there. Lock target. There we go. All right. So now it should be. There it is. All right. I don't think it shows me what's there until we warp there. So let's go this way. Because I probably am going to need to find a Pentaxid asteroid. And let's see in the map. Copper, Cobalt, Neodymium, Sathium, Promethium, and Iron. Okay, so it does not have Pentaxid, but it does have a bunch of stuff in the rings. I assume they're all going to be in the rings. But yeah, we're going to head to Iatus, and we're going to go find, it's either Zascosium or Restrum that should be on the planet's surface. Let's double check and see... Yeah, we have, oh, we have both. Cool. Okay. So we're going to go get both today. And that's going to be our, <laughs> that's going to be our mission. And so I will meet you guys on the planet in just a minute. All right. And you know what? We're not going to, we're not going to land on a planet with this ship. I think what we're going to do is because they have a patrol vessel and I do not want to get nailed by the patrol vessel so let's grab some oxygen here and let's get our food level back up here and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly around we can do this too while we're still here there we go so that is all of the warp that we have left and so I think I think we're gonna need more to get home 20 I think it was 20 here wasn't it let me see and there's mass brown too but yeah, skill on is 21. And yeah, we're going to be cutting it close getting home. So, <laughs> but yeah, what we're going to do here is actually I'm going to put the rockets back on here too. So let's do this and we'll get our rocket launchers and we're going to put those on here. So let's do that. And I think we're going to put them down here if it'll let me get down there there we go is that gonna look okay down there I think it'll look okay down there so we're gonna do that because the other thing I could do is I could put it in front of the thruster here let's see if it'll let me I could put it like that there we go okay there's that one and that one I think that looks I think that looks okay and that and the other one was on the outside yeah it was on the outside okay so like that all right and we're gonna paint these let's see let's do blue small just so they match there we go all right and we should be able to jump in here and let's see I should be able to load up my ammo yeah I have some ammo. I don't have a whole ridiculous amount, but I have some. And let me make sure I have I have a drill. It does have durability. <laughs> right? And I have a drill charge. And I have personal weapons and ammo. Okay. And you know what? I should I should go in here and grab before I forget I'll swap out these for these just in case we need something to repair the ship and I don't think we need I don't think we'll be needing oxygen so I've got a dispenser on the ship and everything okay so yeah the goal is we're gonna go down here and we're gonna look around the planet and see what they've got here and we can find the restroom and Zascosium deposits we may have to take out some POI turrets in order to get to them and mine them safely but we'll find out oh I guess it helps if I actually you know keep going right <laughs> but yeah so let's see what we have here 
Let's take an external view. There's a POI there already. That kind of looks like the patrol vessel thingy, doesn't it? Let's see. But yeah, let's see what's behind us too. Just out of curiosity. And I don't remember if this is one of the newer, if this is one of the newer, I think they're calling them splat map. Hey, there's deposit already and it's, look, it's surrounded by stuff. Cool, there's an arrest room deposit there. So we're gonna, we're gonna get some of that in a second here. Is this, I just wanna see what these are. I wanna get them marked on the map. Advanced supply station. Oh cool, these are some of the ones that um, that I'm familiar with. And these look like the Rados. Yeah, these are the Rados. That's going to be in a, a base or advanced base. There we go. Yep. Okay. So we're going to take these guys out, and I might have to. I might have to go back up to the. Let's see. Where's our range here? I might have to go back up to the ship to get more ammo. If these guys are going to be shooting a lot at me. We got those and this, what is our temperature out here? 58. And I might actually have to, um, let me see, where's the arrest room deposit? There it is. I might have to bring the CV down just to mine this because, or the hovercraft or something because I'm not sure that, wow. Come on. Come on. <laughs> wow, that's not cool. That's not a good way to get an error either. Um, let me check my armor and see, because I'm betting that I don't have... It's only up to 45. So you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to mine this stuff, am I? Get spiders on me too. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be able to mine this stuff because it's out of my temperature range unless I can do it at night. And we'll have to see if I can do it at night. But um, yeah, that's going to be a problem. And the, the, the continuer quit error is also going to be a problem. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, while I can, I'm going to fly around the planet. I'm going to check out and see. Those are cool looking plants. I'm going to check out and see what's out here. We have, what is this, lava fog? So I'm guessing, yeah, this is going to be super hot temperatures. And there are little pentaxic crystals there too and somebody told me that you can mine those you can use your drone and mine those but yeah I think what we're gonna end up having to do is we're gonna end up having to go back to let's see where where are we we're gonna have to go back yeah we're gonna go to the South Pole why don't we go to the admin thing while we're here yeah we'll go south but yeah we're gonna have to go back home and get um, there's a bunch of pentaxid in the lava fields. Okay, but yeah, we're going to have to get different armor boosters and stuff and set up our armor correctly. And yeah, there's a, there's a, oh, that's another deposit. Okay, cool. That's a different deposit. All right, let's see if this is one we can park inside. And there's a Zescosium deposit too. Wow, we found everything we need already. That's kind of cool. And let's see, is this one on a lava field too? It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Let's see, lava plains. It's only 57. Okay. So let's see if there's an indoor. Is there a place to park indoors on this one? I don't think there is. Okay. So let's see, let's do this. And we're going to shoot this guy. I need to remember to not use the rockets. All right. Just like the most ineffective drones. Um, <laughs> and I'm kind of wary about trying to get out here. Let's see. Because you saw the continuer quit errors that we were getting. Restricted area. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to park to get to the door, to be close to the door anyway. Let's see. Because, yeah, there's dudes over here. Nasty dudes over there. I don't think this is worth parking at because I'm going to get continuer quit errors too. So yeah, I think I think we're just going to skip that part and we're going to fly around the poles 
and see what we can do as far as see what all we can discover on here, what kind of deposits they have, and that kind of stuff. Let's see here. Here's the border, so let's see if maybe the other stuff is near here. There's a... Is that the patrol vessel? Because it just appeared. I think that's the patrol vessel. Let's go take a look. Yeah, it's flying. Yep. There's the patrol vessel and the PV base. And that looks like the drone base right up there. Okay, so let's do this. And... It's going to be... It's just at the edge of the mountains here. I don't know. It looks like there. PV base and accept okay looks like it's similar to where that is and we'll see if we can I don't know if the PV is gonna get caught it looks like it's gonna get stuck <laughs> doesn't it? it looks like it's gonna be stuck there and I probably should stay out of range but I want to try to get close enough to the drone base to be able to mark it as well man that is a huge huge ship. There's a shuttle hub there, too. How did I not see that? Did that just appear? <laughs> Is that shuttle hub? That looks like a uh, civilian POI. I think. But yeah, let's do this. Wow, those are some cool... That is some really cool terrain. So we're going to do this. I'm going to mark this. We're going to point toward it. And then we're going to mark it. Drone base. We're going to make a waypoint out of it, just because we can. Okay, that's close enough. All right. And so, yeah, let's go check out this terrain and see what it looks like. Oh, this is really cool. I hope my lights work. Are my lights off on my ship? Nope, they're on. That is really cool. So this is, yeah, like actual lava lava. Cool. Really pretty. I like. I don't think it, it's been a long time since I've seen the new lava. That is really cool. I love it. <laughs> That's really neat. It just reminds me of uh, like Firefox, where they went flying through the valleys and stuff. But um, yeah, so let's um, let's go exploring some more here, and I'm gonna do some flying around the planet, and I will be back in just a minute. That looks really cool. I like that. I had to stop to show you guys that. That giant lava lake. That's really neat looking. Okay. Alright, here's another base. Advanced oxygen depot. Whoa. Let's get out of here. And you know what I was thinking is this deposit is over here and it looked like it was 40 degrees. So let's do this. And we'll take care of these drones. I do have enough ammo, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to take care of these drones. And... There's a plasma drone down there, huh? Let's see. Get rid of this guy. Okay, we're going to take care of these drones. And I'm going to try this because if you see here, it was 40 degrees. And so I, yeah, it was 40 degrees. What happened? Right? It's maybe because I'm higher up. No, because it was saying, yeah, it's, see, it's down there. And what is my, what is my armor again? 45? So if I do this, will I still be able to reach this thing? Let's see. It's 111 meters away. No, nope, I still won't be able to reach it. All right. So doing it at night is still not going to help. Is that this? Is that? Okay. I was going to say, I thought that looked like a the starter shack or something. All right, so I'm still not going to be able to reach it because I'm too high up. All right, never mind. And we're going to continue exploring, and I will be back in a minute. All right, we have done a full lap around I thought we went around the South Pole I guess not and so we've discovered a bunch of this stuff there's gold here too that's kind of cool um, I'm kind of wondering if I can find some of the gold too so I think what I'm gonna do is did I end up at 
the North Pole or something when I was trying to dodge stuff or what? Let me see. Because, yeah, that's... That's the North Pole. All right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that is a lot of turrets. That is a lot of turret fire. Okay. All right. So we're going to go around the... There we go. Yeah, we're going to go around the North Pole, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back and we've got a bunch of stuff discovered. Let's see here. We have a restroom and Zascosium. Let me see, where is the Zascosium deposit? Where is it at? Where did it go? There's one, yeah, they're both over by the, yeah, they're both over by that. And I forget where the PV went, but I think what we're gonna do is we're going to attempt to bring down the CV and mine some of that stuff. <laughs> so, so, and I'm just gonna have to keep an eye out for the, I'm just gonna have to keep an eye out for the, the patrol vessel and just get out if he, if he starts coming. And so we're gonna try that and see what happens, see if we can do it. And, cause, because it's fun. And so the other thing I need to do is I need to make a backup before I go and do that so that so that yeah if it decides it's going to crash every time i get out of the ship that i need to um yeah figure out how to deal with that if it's going to crash every time i get out of the ship i need and i can't get basically out of there before i die or whatever then yeah <laughs> so let's see and we'll do this, turn on our jetpack, and there we go. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. And actually, we're gonna do, we're gonna stop the ship here, and we're gonna make a backup here. And it's gonna take a minute, I think, because my save is starting to get considerable size. There we go, okay, so we have a backup. So if this goes all haywire, then we should be okay. And so let's see where it's right over by the admin station. So let's see where that is. And level off here. And we need to head to the admin. And so let's do this and we'll set a waypoint. And there we go. We're going to call it Zask. All right. And let's see, where's our waypoint? Cool. Okay, and hopefully the patrol vessel is still way back there and will not be coming by us anytime soon. If he does, we're just gonna have to figure out we're either gonna have to leave and come back later with rockets because I don't have enough ammo to take out a ton of, of the turrets on that thing. So yeah, I'm gonna have to come up with a solution to that in order to do that. Either that or we can find the other Zascosium deposit and like run back and forth between the two. That sort of thing. I just saw a POI down here. I do not want to fly over that. That looks like the abandoned mine, doesn't it? That might be an abandoned mine. I'll have to see. Have to see if it shows up for us. Come on. Is it already on the map? No, it's not on the map. There we go. No, nope, there's the other Zascosium deposit. Okay, so they're both really close together. If the patrol vessel... There we go. If the patrol vessel does come by, we're going to be... Yeah, we're going to be stuck. We're not going to be able to get both of them. So, let's see here. Let's see... This is the admin, and this one is here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to land here. We're gonna land right above it, I think. There we go. I do wanna be somewhat careful as far as, let's turn off the thrusters. 
Okay, so I do want to be careful as far as the, um, let's see, okay, we're not getting errors now. All right, I do want to be careful as far as drilling right underneath my ship. I do not want my ship to suddenly pop. <laughs> I call it CV golfing, but yeah, I do not want my ship to pop up in the air or anything like that. Okay, so we have our radar on. We should be able to see if anybody's coming and let's see yeah we have ore right down here cool all right so i'm gonna try to get this Dascosium. it's only 500 of it wow we, i think we are gonna need to get both deposits then in order to have a decent amount because yeah this stuff goes fast now the components take like eight at a time and that that kind of thing so yeah all right, I'm going to get this stuff, and I will be back in a minute. All right, I think we got everything, and we somehow managed to not get any drones or patrol vessels coming along. It's just like a catacombs down here. I have no idea where I even am. Glad I didn't drill this by hand, like by foot or whatever wow that is it just yeah okay so anyway now there are several ways you can do this sort of thing there's several ways to solve this problem the thing we have to work around here is the patrol vessel because you know i could do something like i could bring the capital ship down and i could get in the hovercraft here and use it to drill but the thing is if i'm in that hovercraft and drilling when the patrol vessel comes around I'm either going to have to abandon the capital vessel or the hovercraft and it's, you know, it's just going to be too much of a difficult situation to deal with and, you know, basically the whole idea is to not lose all my equipment in the process and, you know, the other thing I could do is I could go back and get enough armor to be able to stand on my SV or you could build an SV that has an enclosed compartment in it in order to do that which is another solution um, you don't even need you know the SV doesn't need to be too much more than what what you already have as a minimal um, as a minimal ship but you know it's just um, a matter of I like to build a small fighter that is relatively uh, agile and everything in order to do that sort of thing so let's do this and so that way the idea is the reason of doing that is so that when I get out of my drone I can immediately jump in my ship jump in the cockpit of the ship so let's get this let's see yep okay so let's get this drilled out and I will be back again in just a minute All right, I think we got the whole deposit. Let me see if I can find my way back up here. There we go. And I don't see, yeah, I don't see any rocks underneath the ground. And so let's check out and see what we've got. We got 542 of each. Cool. That is really cool. All right, and I think, I think that's all we've got here, and there is some gold somewhere on the planet. It would actually be kind of fun to mine the gold, although it's probably going to be a small deposit. So I suppose that wouldn't be that great of a thing. But yeah, I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back to the moon and finish off more of that Pentaxa deposit. Let me get in here. And whoops, I always do that. There we go. Okay, let's see if I like destroyed a bunch of my oxygen. Yeah, I think I did every time I accidentally hit the power. Okay, but yeah, that's that's gonna be it for episode 16. Join me in episode 17, and I think we're gonna get, like I said, we're gonna get some Pentaxid, and we'll figure out where else we can go, and we'll see what's on the map here, and we might go to Masperon, although I'm not sure what's left to get. So yeah, we have all of our stuff, so may, we may have to um, figure out what our next adventure is going to be so yeah um join me in episode 17 for whatever that's going to be and we'll see you then <laughs> later